Okay, 5, 2 is on other trigonometric functions, and all the other trigonometric functions are all defined in terms of the sine and cosine. For example, the tangent is equal to the sine over cosine. The cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent, and it's equal to cosine over sine. The secant is 1 over the cosine, and the cosecant is 1 over the sine. So, for example, if somebody asks you, what is the tangent of 0? Well, the tangent of 0 would be the same as sine of 0 over cosine of 0. And 0 degrees or 0 radians is that point on that unit circle where you just started going around that circle. It would be at the point uh, 1, 0. So the x is 1 and the y is 0. And the sine is the y value, the cosine is the x value. So 0 over 1 is 0. So the tangent of 0 degrees or radians is 0. Tangent of pi over 2, remember on a unit circle, pi over 2 is 90 degrees, same as being at the top of that circle there. The coordinates are 0, 1. So the x value is 0 and the y value is 1. So 1 over 0, division by 0 is not 0, it's undefined. And graphically, that means that there will be a vertical asymptote for the graph of the tangent function at pi over 2. And you can get all of them, like secant of pi over 4. Well, secant is 1 over the cosine of pi over 4. Cosine of pi over 4 is about 0 0.7071. It's actually the square root of 2 over 2. And 1 over that would be 1.4, approximately, which is actually the square root of 2. Now, you can get all of these on the Excel sheet, the trig sheet. And if you want to find any trig value for any degree, you just type them in here, like this is the tangent of 360 degrees. Here's the cotangent of 120 degrees, and so on. Now, if you have them in radium measurement, or if you want to convert that, let's convert 120 degrees to radians. So I would put 120 in here, and I get it's equal to this many radians, or 2 pi over 3. So now down here, when it says uh, cotangent, I would say equals, and don't click on this one, because that uh, has the pi in it, and it won't give you the correct answer. That is, in fact, what the radian measurement is of 120 degrees. It's 2 pi over 3, but we need to use a decimal approximation here. Hit Enter, and that gives you what the cotangent is. And here it writes it with the square root notation. It's actually the negative square root of 3 over 3. Like, for example, if we want to know what the secant is of, let's say, pi over 2, we would just type that in. And I forgot to type in equals, so let's do that one more time here. And so I'll just go up here and type in equals. And here we go. It's infinity. In other words, it's uh, heading off to, to infinity at pi over 2. It will never reach infinity, but there's a vertical asymptote at that location. It's actually undefined at that location, and there's a vertical asymptote there. We can graph these functions. Uh, the sine, cosine, secant, and cosecant can all be graphed in this area right here. So if we want to graph, let's say, y equals the secant, so the a would be 1. And we're going to graph the secant one of 1x plus 0 plus 0. So uh, I could do that. Just scroll down. I've got the 1 in for the a and 1 in for the b. And if I want to graph the secant, just scroll down here, and you'll see what the secant graph looks like. Now, the spikes that are on here, that's where the vertical asymptote is on this graph. And where is the vertical asymptotes? Well, the vertical asymptotes are given to you right here. It's negative pi over 2 plus every pi after that, n pi, which means you know 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, so on. So there's a vertical asymptote at negative pi over 2 plus another pi would be at pi over 2. Now if I want to graph this to see that, I could go ahead and put in as my start and end um, negative pi over 2, which is equals, um, well, let me type it in, uh, negative pi over 2 which is about negative 1.57. Now, if I go from negative 1.57 to a positive 1.57, I won't see the graph very well because I'm right at the vertical asymptotes. So let's start this a little bit after negative 1.57. Let's start about negative 1.5 approximately and go out to about 1.5. Instead of uh, pi over 2, which is about 1.57, we'll go out to about 1.5. And now if I look at this graph of the secant graph down here, you can see what it looks like in that area. Now, it doesn't repeat this U-shape over and over again. If I look at the next bit from pi over 2 to uh, 3 pi over 2, let's go ahead and graph that. So if I go from 3 pi over uh, or from pi over 2, which uh, is at 1.57, I'll go a little bit after that, like 1.6, let's say, to 3 pi over 2. Let's see what 3 times pi over 2 is. And I don't want to go clear out that far. Let's just go out to 4.5. 
And if I look at the graph of the secant in that area, then I can see that there's a vertical, it's down here negative, you see, in this area. And actually it doesn't go any higher than negative one on this side, and the other part of it uh, doesn't go any uh, lower than positive one. So it's like uh, a right side up, one of these shape, now we won't say U shape, but it's uh, asthmatotic, and then uh, an upside down one, and it alternates back and forth after that. Now if we look at this over a longer range, you're just going to see the spikes. So let's go from, let's say, negative uh, 10 to 10. And you would see a lot of points here on the cosine graph, you know, a lot of waves. But on the secant, you can see it a little bit here how it looks. And this is, uh, you know, a large range of this being graphed. And then the cosecant graph is down below that, and it tells you where the vertical asymptote is. And the, this one, you can't see that well on there. But uh, it's the same type of shape as this, except it's not at these values. I think it's uh, alternating going from uh, 0 to pi, rather than negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And you can graph the tangent and cotangent graphs uh, over in this area. And you put in your A, B, and C in here, and it'll tell you the period and phase shift and so on. So here's the graph of y equals tangent x from um, negative 1.5, which is a little bit more than negative pi over 2, to uh, 1.5, which is a little bit less than one, uh, pi over 2. And so you can see what it looks like there. And it would just repeat that shape over and over again. And the cotangent is below that. And I, I got a vertical asymptote here at 0, so if I wanted to see that graph, I would uh, get away from that value of 0. And you can always adjust this to see what happens if you phase shift it or change the period and so on. So that's the graph of other trigonometric functions.